let's look at how to multiply our polynomials. So our first step is going to be to set up a box. So for this first example, I'm going to go through these steps as I write them down up top. So set up a box. <laughs> okay, set up a box. Since I have one, two, three, four, I need my box to have four spaces. Okay. And then it says fill in the top with the first expression. So above my above my box on the top, I'm gonna write x and I'm gonna write positive four. And we're gonna fill in the side with the second expression. So this is the second expression. I'm gonna write the, that down the side here. So three X minus two. Now it says multiply each term by each term. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply X times three X. And I'm going to do that right here, just so that we can have a refresher on multiplying our uh, variables. So we've got 3x times x. So remember, if there's not a number in front of my variable, that's an understood 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. Remember, I keep my variable the exact same. And I add the number on top of the variable. So... 1 plus 1 is 2. So 3x times x is 3x squared. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply my 4 times my 3x. So 3x times 4. So I'm just multiplying the numbers. That's 12. Don't drop that variable. x. 12x. Now I'm going to multiply x times negative 2 x times negative 2, so that's negative 2x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Now I need to write my answer, and I used up all my space here, so I'm going to write it right here. This number in the top Top left-hand box goes first, 3x squared. And then I take these middle two terms and combine them. So I've got, I'm going to use my space here. I've got 12x minus 2x. So 12 minus 2 is 10, and don't drop that x. So positive 10x. And then that bottom right-hand term is what comes next. That's it. 3x squared plus 10 minus 8 is our answer. So what goes here? Uh, I forgot to finish. Combine. Generally, our last step is combining like terms. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's draw our box. Again, I need four spaces, this first one up top, second one down the side. This time I'm going to do my math here. All right, this one times this one. So we've got 9x times negative x. That's a positive 9 times a negative 1. That's negative 9. Keep your x. Add the exponent. So that's 1 plus 1 is 2. So negative 9x squared goes here. Negative 9 times negative x. Negative 9 times negative 1 is a positive 9. Don't drop that x. It's just 1x. So positive 9x, 9x times 4, so 9 times 4 is 36, again don't drop that x, so 36x, 
negative 9 times positive 4 is a negative 36. All right, let's combine our like terms and write our answer. <coughs> Remember, this one goes first, negative 9x squared. If we combine these middle two terms, plus 45x, this one goes last, minus 36. So if you have a problem where we've got an x plus or minus a number and an times an x plus or minus a number, this is what your box is going to look like. You're going to have a square here, the x is here, and a number here. All right, let's do two more examples. This, you see we got only have one term, one um, expression, 6x minus 5, but our exponent is on the outside of this. What that means is what we're really multiplying is 6x minus 5 times 6x minus 5. So this is our first expression that's going to go up top. This is our second expression. So there's our box. Top expression, 6x minus 5. Side expression is also 6x minus 5. So we got 6x times 6x. That's 36x squared. Negative 5 times 6x is negative 30x. 6x times negative 5, negative 30x. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. This is our first term, 36x squared. Negative 30x minus 30x is negative 60x plus 25. All right. Let's look at one more example when we have two here and then three here. So my box is going to be a little bit bigger this time or longer. We're going to have two here and three here. So I'm writing that first one up top, 2x minus 3. That second one below, 7x squared minus x plus 11. So I'm just doing the same thing, same process over and over again. We got 2x times 2x to the third. So 2 times 7 is 14. x times x squared, we add those exponents. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. And then that just all stays the same, x squared. 2x times negative x. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. We've got two x's, so it's x squared. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3, and we got that x. 2 times 11 is 22. We've got an x there, so we keep that x there. And I'm going really fast, so you're going to have to let me know when you have questions. So now I'm at that final step. Now I'm going to end up, this is going to be my first term like before, then I combine these two because they're both x squared. So negative 21 minus 2 is negative 23x squared. And then I'm also combining these because both of those are x's. So plus 25x minus 33. So try this one on your own. <coughs> This ends up being the answer to check yourself.